hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to happy world if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um today is monday and it's my meal prep day so this morning i said you know what i'm not gonna cook anything i'm gonna wait till the man comes off of school because he has a half a day today tomorrow and wednesday because it's parent teacher conference so i said you know what let me season the food so i seasoned the food from last night the majority of it the only thing that i had to um the only thing I didn't season was my chicken for my brown stew chicken that I'm going to make today. So, Demir is home. He's having a snack. And he's going to do his homework. So, I'm going to have to just try, try to get this done. So, today I'm making, just to get to it, I'm making um, barbecue fried chicken breast. So, I know usually I make barbecue fried chicken, but I'm making fried chicken breast. Because I haven't really had that in a, in a while. I usually just have the whole chicken or the chicken parts. So I'm going to have that and then I'm going to make brown stew chicken for the house again. Yes, chicken and chicken because we have it. I think Alex is having pork for lunch. She's having shrimp for lunch. And um, I think y y yesterday we had um, cod. So I figured, you know what, it's okay. It's not going to kill us. And I already asked Alex. He said it was fine. So for Alex's lunch, his meal prep lunch, he's going to have pork, pork chops. But this, the um, the rib, the rib kind, the one you can make ribs out of, the, the loin or whatever. So I seasoned that from last night, and also he's having shrimp. So I'm gonna make like a, I seasoned it with like a um, cilantro, mustard, lemony flavor, and then with the shrimp I made a garlic parmesan type um, feel. So I'm gonna make a pasta for the for the the shrimp, and I'm gonna make like a, I'm gonna sear, um, the pork chop. And just put a sauce over it and that's it so you guys have to follow me while i cook because y'all know i'll be changing stuff because you know nothing is consistent up here sometimes i'm like no i want to do that 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 so yeah but other than that i had a great day had a great morning i hope you guys had the same great day good great morning great great weekend and if you haven't seen my grocery vlog it's on my other video the video before this one that will be going out Okay, guys, so like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. And so this is my chicken that I marinated um, from yesterday. I put, I just put two eggs in here just for the barbecue fried chicken purposes. Um, so I, mar I seasoned it with, um, just so you guys know, my adobo, my dash, and garlic powder and some Italian seasoning. So that's all I used to season this chicken. Obviously, I washed it, I cleaned it prior to seasoning it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bread it with the flour that I have. I have my flour here that I also seasoned. So I seasoned this with the same garlic powder, garlic powder, my adobo, yes, my dash, and um, I put some cornmeal in here and uh, Italian seasoning okay so that's what you see here so I'm going to coat these chicken breasts and I'm gonna put it in my plate Okay, so y'all know I love my Dutchie pot. Yes, so I put some garlic and some scallion, and it's gonna it's frying up right now. So I'm gonna give it a second. I put a mixture of olive oil and canola oil, um, because I know that olive oil can't burn too long, so I thought I don't want it to, you know, whatever. So I put both in here. So I'm gonna drop my chicken in here in a second. Okay. 
don't want to flip it yet. You don't want to go in there and touch, touch, touch it up too much. So. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'm going to get my barbecue sauce ready. So I use this barbecue sauce, guys. Sweet Vidalia onion from Sweet Baby J. I really like it. Sometimes I use the other type, but you can use whatever you have. No right or wrong. Just what I like, that's all. So this you might be using the whole thing, but that should be good. So a little tips from on here. And I'm gonna use my honey's almost done. I know Alex need it. I'm gonna use syrup. Y'all don't come for me in the comments, okay? Just gonna make it a little sweeter, that's all. That is all. All I'm using. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little garlic powder in here. And that's it. Mix it up and wait till it's done. Put it in here. Yeah, not yet. Give it a couple more minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna take one piece. This is my mixture, my, my barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna take it. Sorry, guys. So I was doing. Think this chicken is ready. Yes, this one is ready. So I'm going to let me show you guys what it looks like. So look. That's how you want the chicken to look. Now I'm going to drop it in my barbecue sauce, both sides. One, two, while it's hot. <laughs> and then I'm going to lay it. See that? In my pan. And that's one. I still have to wait on the other. I'll do some of my fingers. See you guys. Put it in the bottom too far. It's okay if the oil drips. It's not a huge deal. Like, not for me, not a huge deal. Personally, don't bother me. So, this is what my chicken breast looks like after everything comes out of the fryer. It looks pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna move on to, I have gave in my hands, so I'm using one hand. We're gonna move on to the brown stew chicken. So I season this with my dash, my um, garlic powder, um, my adobo. I put some garlic, some scallions, some onion, my Italian seasoning because I don't have any time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the pot. I'm gonna fry it first because y'all know that's usually how I do make it. I fry it first and I cook it down. So that's how I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put some oil in my pot. That's right there, my Dutchie pot. And I'm going to start frying my chicken. chicken so you like to fry it first and then we're gonna cook it down afterwards. Well, I can help you. you can help me? Yeah. How are you gonna help me? Well, you wanna turn the chicken? I'll try to. Alright. Alright, when it's when it's almost time to turn, you'll turn it. Alright guys, the man's in the kitchen. <laughs> You want to take out the chicken that's ready. Okay, take out that one right there. Yeah. 
funny guys is that I never pushed the mayor to wash dishes I used to say it's a chore that I used to do and that I would like for him to do it but he didn't like say I didn't say oh go wash dishes I would say hey the mayor you know can you wash your dish for me if you don't mind and he just I guess he just seen that I cook and I clean up and he's just like okay ma I'm gonna wash dishes today and I also let him wash his um his food container that he brings to school alright alright all right. I let him I let him wash it. When you come home, that's his responsibility. You come home, take a shower, you change your clothes. Then you wash, you have your snack, you wash your dishes, the, your, your containers that you had lunch out of. Then you go and you do your homework. So today we did a little bit in reverse, but it's okay. As long as you get it done, that's all mommy cares about. But I thought that was really thoughtful of him. So one to help me wash the dishes, you know? And then he's like, Mommy, then whenever I wash the dishes, then when you finish cooking, then you can wash your dishes. And then when daddy come home, he could wash his dishes. <laughs> so I like that. I like that. I really do like that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. um we've been doing that for a while now. So yeah. Maybe that's something I can, you know, teach our kids. But as I said, I never told the man to wash dishes. He just seen me do it and my eyes wanna help you. So I'm very thankful for him. Also, I just did a parent teacher conference with his teacher and the teacher said he did He's doing very well, and he's a very good, sweet boy. And she said, he always gives me compliments every time, every day. And I'm like, yeah, I wonder who he gets that from. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, relax, relax, relax. You, you feel a way because I'm not talking about you? Is that what it is? You feeling some type of way? Because I'm not talking about you? You're the greatest, too. Hey. I love you, too. I love you too. Yes, I do. But yeah, it's good to hear that um my son is doing well in school. Although I do be checking up on him, don't be. I'm not. So I try my best to be very active in my son's life in terms of school, so that whenever a teacher was to say, "Hey, you know, the man's struggling," I'm not like blindsided. Like what? Are you serious? I'm always hand in hand with the teacher. And I always try my best to make sure, hey, the mere house where we're going. And all that good stuff. Let's get back to cooking. Okay. So my brown stew chicken, all of it is done. See? Oh, it ain't beautiful. It's all semi-cooked. So we're going to wash out this pot, take out the oil, and yeah. Okay, guys. So I just took out most of the oil and actually left all the remnants on the bottom. 
because that's going to be really good for the gravy. And I just added my onion skin and thyme, my garlic. I added some orange and yellow bell peppers. And we're just going to cook it up. I'm going to put some um, hot water in here. And that's it. I'm going to cook it up. I don't have any potatoes, but I have carrots. I have a lot of carrots. So I'm trying to get rid of it. So I'm going to cook it up with my Bronx food chicken. And that's it. So this is what it looks like, guys. It's simmering down. So I added carrot, a little bit of chicken bouillon for flavor, and a little ketchup. About two two tablespoons of ketchup I added just to give the pot, you know, that little richness. And lastly, I'm gonna add some butter to the pot. But yeah, see, I didn't add no browning, guys. I didn't add no browning. So if you do wash out your pot, sometimes sometimes you might have to add some type of coloring to it so you can get this brown color. But most of the time, because the chicken is already um, fried, it will give you this color. But I think from this time around, for, for me, that because I didn't wash out the pot, and it wasn't like burnt, burnt. It was just like, you know, it had a little, a little char, but not burnt where it would be bitter. So... That's how it came out like this. Nice and brown. No browning was used, like I said. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're moving on to Alex's lunches now. So I'm going to make the shrimp. So it's like an Italian herb shrimp. So I already seasoned my, um, my shrimp from last night. Get this boy. I seasoned my shrimp from last night with, um, my Italian herb and my um garlic parmesan. This right here. I seasoned with garlic parmesan. It tastes really good. And Alex said he didn't want no um he didn't want me to make him a parmesan based sauce with the cheese because he has to go to work. So I said okay, I can always mix it up and I can make this and I can just put the good job the herb and garlic marinade and just cook it with it and then just put some parmesan cheese on top okay so i put the um the shrimp in here you guys can see and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it on on roast because i want it to cook and then i'm gonna put my sauce on there after so like i use like usual you're gonna close the lid let's see if you guys can see the very bottom I'm moving back so you can see. Yes. So it's already plugged in. I'm gonna turn it on. No, oh, turn it on. Sorry. Then I'm going to press roast 375. Start 15 minutes. So that's gonna go over 15 minutes, and I'm gonna open it up. Obviously, it's gonna be pink, and I'm gonna throw, put my sauce on there. Then I'm gonna put it on again. So I took it off midway. It still had 11 minutes, so after five minutes, I was just like, you know what, it might overcook because there's small shrimp. So I'm just gonna put the sauce on here. Oh, you don't, you don't want one thing you don't want. You don't want hard shrimp. That's that's no fun. No fun at all. So I'm gonna put my sauce on it. Yep. Toss it around a little bit. Give it some more. Yeah, taste it. Although it's just the mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm gonna cover this again. And give it another five minutes. So when you leave it on for the six, seven minutes, this is what it looks like. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the pasta in here because it's pretty much done guys to be honest with you it's pretty much done I'm just putting everything in this one pot so yes how that look
Not a lot, because, you know, I don't want A coming at me, babe. <laughs> Just a little bit. And that's it. It is done. Amazing. So I'm going to put these in Alex's containers with some zucchini. And that's on that. Okay, now we're moving on to the pork. What it looks like. I'm going to place it down in my ninja. I'm going to roast this as well. roast it so these pieces of pork is pretty stubborn so I did put it on bake slash um roast for about I want to say 25 minutes and it's still kind of on the tough side so what I'm gonna do is I made a little sauce in my in the bag I had mustard so about two tablespoons of mustard some cilantro and about a teaspoon of jerk seasoning and a little water with my garlic so I'm gonna put that in here. And add it in here. Cause it's just like a, it's just like a sauce, but I want it to cook in it so it can absorb the, the flavors. So this is not cooked yet. It's still on a little bit of a tough side, like I said. So I'm just gonna cook it a little longer. But it looks amazing. Like it looks fine. But it's still on the tough side. So I'm going to bake it okay the last thing on my list brussels sprouts and that's it <laughs> so i like get so i'm just gonna roast those for a couple minutes and put them. can i finish can i finish my video you see i have all the things i'm all over the floor i still love you anyway so yeah we're gonna um roast these and that's it so this is what we have so far is what we have so pier yes i'm sending alex to work with pier because i don't know what else to put in here so he can get him a knife and cut it through as for the pork guys the pork gave me a little bit of a warm time next time what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna slice it when it's raw and then i'm gonna cook it that way so that it's not as hard for me to cook because cut cooking it in the um in the in the in the loin the loin how they were in the pork loin sections it was kind of hard so I had to slice it thin like you guys see and then I had to use the sauce that I had saute it up with the sauce and obviously I used brown stew chicken gravy that I had and then I had the rice and peas that Alex said he really loved he said but guys he said that's the best rice and peas he's ever he's ever tasted from me and I don't cook rice and peas <laughs> come <Coming> afraid <laughs> so the rice and peas that I cooked in my um video for with the curry codfish that is the rice and peas I need that I cooked yesterday and then um we have the pasta here again with the pork the pork is actually really good guys that that the um mustard yellow mustard with the jerk seasoning and the cilantro it was it's good I ain't going front it's good so this is what we have so this is what Alice is gonna eat for the week I try not to give him too much food like this right here is a lot of food so if him take out some or if he don't finish eating it he can always obviously he brings it back home just like how the mayor brings his back home and he might eat it again so it is what it is we don't complain it is what it is so that's it guys so like comment subscribe guys I'm done with my meal prep how could I forget gave the mayor's lunch for tomorrow so it's gonna be simple because he got half a day
and a treat. Here, you want a cracker? Here. Here you go, baby. Here you go. And I have one too. Some treat. I have a treat. Right here. So if he does not eat this, he does not get this. That's the rule. This is going to be his snack. Not a butter. All right, guys. So thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me. I am done meal prepping. So for me, um, I know y'all like, I feel, what do you eat? <laughs> so because I work at night, sometimes I do bring lunch, but it's very light. Like the pasta leftovers that I had. Um, with Alex, I'll bring a little bit of that home. I did have a little small piece of pork loin that was also left behind. I will bring that with some vegetables. So I don't really eat that much at night time. If I'm home, then I'll eat something and then obviously something small. And then um, when I go to work, I'll eat something very light and obviously I'll drink a little coffee because I have to stay up. I'm trying to get out of that coffee thing, but it is what it is. So... Comment, like, subscribe, and share, guys. Anything y'all want me to make, let me know in the comments. But until then, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys watched the whole entire video. Okay, good vibes only. Wash your hands, social distance, and be safe and stay blessed. And that's about it. Bye.